Uh, hello everyone. So since a lot of people seem to have trouble with installing my charm editor, I decided to make yet another tutorial to basically go through the entire process uh, of ins first installing RE Framework, then the charm editor itself, and then launching it and using it. Um, if it wasn't already obvious, this tutorial is for the RE Framework version of the mod. If you are planning to use the executable version, then this tutorial is not for you. So to get started, we need to, of course, first install RE Framework. Um, you can find RE Framework in the Monster Hunter Rise category on Nexus Mods by just searching it up here. So go ahead and come over to the Files tab and simply download the very top file that is listed right here. So just click on manual download, then slow download, and there you go, you have your RE framework. So inside this zip archive, you'll find exactly one file, that is the input 8.dll. Um, and now we need to go ahead and go to our game directory. I already have it open, um, but if you don't know how to find it, then usually it is going to be in C program files or program files x86. For me, it's in the normal program files. Then scroll down until you find Steam, then uh, Steam apps common, and then you'll, you're going to find Monster Hunter Rise here. Uh, for me, it's not here because I installed it on a different drive. So find that Steam library folder, Steam apps common, Monster Hunter Rise right here. So when you first, if you have not already installed RE Framework, you will not have as many files as I have in here. So to install RE Framework, basically all you have to do is just go ahead and drag this DLL over. I already have it installed here, so I'm not going to do that again. And Afterwards, you're also going to need this RE Framework folder. So if it doesn't exist, just right click New Folder and just create the folder called RE Framework. Now we have RE Framework installed and now we can go ahead and install the Charm Editor. So again, come over to the Files tab right here and download the RE Framework version of the mod. This one here is the executable version. You can see right here the version is always going to be prefixed with REF and then the version number, so make sure you download one of those. So we're going to go on manual download. This is the version that was just today actually updated for Sunbreak. So go ahead and open this zip archive and in here you will find one file and a folder. Now it may not be immediately obvious where to put those and that's why I am here. It also actually says this in the mod description right here although I admit it's kind of small but yes. So right here uh, go ahead and open this RE framework folder and in here you're gonna have to create a plugins folder. Ignore everything else that's in here, you just need this plugins folder right here. Open that and then once you're in here also again ignore the stuff that's already in here, you don't need this and you're not gonna have it probably. So just select both of these files and drag them in here just like that. And that's basically it. So this Rise Charm Editor folder basically just contains language files for all the languages that the game supports. And the .dll file right here is the actual Charm Editor program. So now you can actually just close all of this, and close everything, and we can launch Monster Hunter Rise. Okay, so once Monster Hunter Rise is running, you will see a small RA framework window pop up in the top left corner of the game window. And it is going to take a bit. 
uh, this thing is gonna initialize it'll probably be open like this for you when it starts so just wait till this finishes initializing and ignore this on the right here this is unrelated uh, the first time you start the, with the uh, charm editor it might be really small behind the RE framework window and you won't be able to see it so you can just go ahead and move the RE framework window or minimize it with this arrow button at the top left here and you'll see the rise data editor window now if it's really small just go and come down to the bottom right of the window and you'll see this small little triangle appear and you can click and hold this to resize the window as you see fit so I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this over to the right here and minimize it for now and we're just gonna go ahead and load into the game now uh, the editor supports multiple languages uh, by default it will just pick the language that your game is set to so if you want to change the language of the editor simply change the language of your game if we go to the settings here and select the text and change that to I don't even know Russian I can't speak Russian but you'll see it changes in here so whatever you set it to in here it's also gonna change in the editor so let's go ahead and set this back to English okay so um, while you're in the title screen you'll see that the charm editor is not usable because it needs to know which save to actually access um, player editor is just gonna display default stuff so I would not recommend editing anything in here the item box editor is also gonna display default things um, I don't think changing anything while in this state does anything and the loadout editor will simply not display anything so go ahead and just load into a save quickly and now if you also want to know how to actually use the editor I recommend you go and watch my previous video to which I'm going to put a link into the description it is a quick and to the point video that explains how to use it and I hope this video helped you.